The engine coolant temperature sensor, also known as the ECT sensor, is a critical component of the modern engine. The ECT sensor measures the temperature of the engine coolant in the cooling system and sends it to the ECU. This information is crucial for determining whether to delay or advance the spark timing and to adjust the fuel injector opening time. When the engine is cold, the ECM adjusts the fuel mixture to be richer than normal to prevent stalling and stumbling. And when the engine is warm, the ECM adjusts the fuel mixture to be leaner to maximize fuel economy and reduce exhaust emissions. The ECT sensor also controls the operation of the radiator fan. At high temperatures, the radiator fan runs at high speed to help cool the engine and maintain optimal operating temperature. Now locating the ECT sensor is essential for troubleshooting. In most vehicles, the primary ECT sensor is located close to the thermostat, which is usually found in the cylinder head or thermostat housing. This placement allows the sensor to accurately measure the temperature of the coolant as it begins to circulate through the engine. Some vehicles may have a secondary ECT sensor located elsewhere on the engine or radiator. This additional sensor can provide further data for more precise temperature monitoring and control. Now that we know what the ECT sensor does and its location, let's dive into the symptoms of a bad ECT sensor. Symptom number one, the check engine light comes on. While a check engine light can indicate various problems, a malfunctioning ECT sensor is a frequent trigger. This happens because the ECU detects issues related to the ECT sensor and triggers relevant fault codes. The list of error codes related to the ECT sensor is detailed in the video description, so make sure to check it out. In addition, you can find our playlist on how to diagnose trouble codes step by step. This will guide you through identifying and resolving each code effectively. The number two symptom is engine overheating. A faulty ECT sensor might send incorrect signals to the ECU. It could either send a continuous cold signal, making the ECU think the engine is cold, or a hot signal, making it believe the engine is overheating. If the sensor sends a falsely low temperature, the radiator fan may slow down or stop, and the ECU might inject more fuel to warm up the engine, further increasing the temperature. The third symptom is black smoke from the exhaust. Incorrect readings from the coolant temperature sensor can cause the ECU to miscalculate the air fuel mixture and spark timing. This results in incomplete combustion, leading to black smoke from the exhaust. The fourth symptom is radiator fan running continuously. If the ECT sensor malfunctions and falsely senses high temperatures, it can cause the radiator fan to run continuously to cool down the engine. The number five symptom is radiator fan not running at all. If the ECT sensor incorrectly senses low temperatures, it can prevent the radiator fan from running at all, even when the engine needs cooling. Now that we understand the symptoms of a faulty ECT sensor, let's delve into the causes of a faulty ECT sensor. The first cause is mechanical damage. Physical damage to the sensor or its components can impair its ability to function correctly. This can result from impacts, vibrations, or improper handling during maintenance. The second cause is contaminants. The buildup of contaminants on the sensor can affect its performance. Debris contamination can insulate the sensor and interfere with its ability to accurately measure the temperature of the coolant. The third cause is internal short circuits. Electrical issues within the sensor itself, such as short circuits, can prevent it from sending correct signals to the engine control module. The fourth cause is electrical issue. Poor connections across electrical connectors, broken wiring, blown fuses, loss of ground, or issues with previously repaired wires can disrupt the connection with the ECT sensor. When a car exhibits the symptoms mentioned above and the ECT sensor has been checked and found to be in working order but the issue persists, inspecting the other components that influence engine temperature is essential. These components can also cause imbalances in the air-fuel mixture and similar symptoms. Issue number one is the faulty thermostat. 
Heat thermostat regulates the flow of coolant between the engine and the radiator. If the thermostat is stuck closed, it can prevent coolant from circulating properly, leading to engine overheating. Conversely, if it is stuck open, the engine may not reach its optimal operating temperature. Check out the video in the corner for guidance to diagnose a bad thermostat. The number two issue is a faulty cooling fan relay. The cooling fan relay controls the operation of the radiator fan based on signals from the ECU. A malfunctioning relay may prevent the fan from turning on, causing the engine to overheat. Alternatively, a stuck relay can cause the fan to run continuously. Check out the video in the corner for guidance to diagnose a bad cooling fan relay. The number three issue is water pump failure. The water pump circulates coolant throughout the engine and radiator. A failing water pump can lead to inadequate coolant circulation, resulting in overheating. Check out the video in the corner for guidance to diagnose a bad water pump. If you found this video informative and helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow automotive enthusiasts, and subscribe for more content on automotive diagnostics and repair. Your support helps us create more valuable content like this. Thank you for watching.